Hey, what's up, everybody? David Wood here for davidwoodfx.blogspot.com and noisejunkies.net to bring you part two of my Teen Titans tutorial series in Photoshop. In today's tutorial, we will be looking at the powers of Starfire. Here is an example of the powers from the show. And uh, when she wants to use her powers, this green aura appears around her hands with these little, little electric arcs flying through here and a hot spot in the middle, and this nice overall green glow. And it's a pretty cool effect. So let's go ahead and look at what the result is of that. Uh, this is what my effect ended up turning out like. And it's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. And also I'll show you how to do the powers of her sister Blackfire, which is the same basic effect, only instead it's purple instead of green. So let's jump right into this tutorial. And the first thing that we want to do is create a new layer, grab the elliptical marquee tool, and make a circle. Hold down shift to constrain the proportions, just like that. And we want it to be a little bit bigger than his fist, so right about there looks pretty good. Hold down control and click backspace to fill it in with the background color, which is white, and then select deselect. Now we can come over to our Layers panel and just double click on the layer and it will bring up our layer styles. And we are going to apply a pattern overlay. So go into that tab and from the pattern menu you want to choose the patterns option and this one right here, metal landscape. And we want to decrease the scale. So uh, lower this somewhere between uh, 30 and 40 probably will work best. And hit OK. And then create a new layer below this by holding down Control and clicking on the New Layer tab. And merge the top layer with the bottom layer. And that will apply those layer styles to the layer. Next we want to invert it, so hit Control i Double click on the layer again. And this time we're going to apply a color overlay. So set the blend mode on Add and increase and choose a very bright green and set the opacity somewhere between 55 and 65 and hit OK. Do the same thing as before, create a blank layer beneath it and right click and merge down. So we have one solid layer and set the blend mode of this to screen just to see what our effect looks like so far and it doesn't look too bad. Go back to normal. Uh, we'll go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and just give this a blur of 0.3 or 4. We'll set the blend mode on screen again. Double click on the layer. Click on the outer glow setting. Make the color of the outer glow a vibrant green. Set the opacity to 100%. And the spacing, uh, for this image it works for 50. You might have to play around with this on your own and see what works best for your size image and also go into the inner glow and in these settings we want to do the same thing opacity at 100% blend mode on screen vibrant green again and increase the size 20 works for this image and then we can go into the color overlay set the blend mode on screen and choose a green again but only this time make it a little more uh, yellow and lower the opacity somewhere between 60 and 70 probably will work best. Now before we do anything else we need to uh, do one last thing and that is simply add the hot spot in the middle. So to do that we'll shut off all the effects and uh, take the paintbrush tool and for mine the uh, soft edged brush set at 100 will work fine and set the foreground color to white. You can match up the size of the brush with the actual effect and then from there use the bracket key to scale down uh, just like that and then just click once to give it a bright spot in the center and then you can turn all the other effects back on and then just move that up into position like that. Now to um, bring back some of those uh, more vibrant edge glows that we had before we can take this layer and hit control J and duplicate it and the bottom one will set on overlay and then we can go into the outer glow and the inner glow and set both of these to multiply and we can go into bl the blend options 
and set the fill opacity to 0 and the main opacity to 20. Go back into the color overlay and set that at 100. I'll leave that on screen though. And then these inner and outer glows, we can adjust these until we get something uh, just slightly visible. We don't want them to be too bright. And then select both of these layers by holding down shift, right clicking and choosing link layers. And that is how you do Starfire's effect. Now in order to do Blackfire's effect, all we need to do is just change the colors of the image. So uh, I went back to where I had just inverted that pattern layer, and we'll do the color overlay again, only this time we'll make it a purple color. And it's a more violet purple, so it's got a little more blue hue to it instead of a pink color. So something like that should work. And set the blend mode on screen or add. And then play with the opacity again. So I think something like this looks pretty good. I might make this inner color a little more uh, purple, more pink, like that. And then we'll do the same as before, make a new layer below it, merge that down, and then just do the same as before and apply an outer glow make the color of this purple and an inner glow and do the same also make that purple as well uh, for the inner glow on this one you might have to play around with the blend modes on it um, just because the purple doesn't uh, show up as well so uh, something like that and that is how you create Blackfire's image so, I hope you found this tutorial useful. The next tutorial in this series will be on the actual Starbolt effect, which the characters throw from their hands. So, keep an eye out for that next. It will be a sub-tutorial, so it's actually 2.5. Uh, but that will be what is coming out next. But anyway, I'm David Wood, davidwoodfx.blogspot.com and noisejunkies.net, and I will see you guys next time.